We got this for the super cheap. We found it on Craigslist. We went last night to pick it up. Hey guys, welcome to Farm Alarm. My name is Tracy. Today we've got a new project. That means some other things have to go bye bye. You kind of see here behind me. Um, that's the that's the dead giveaway, right? So you guys might know if you've been on the channel for quite a while now. Um, a year ago, um, actually a year and a month ago, we bought a '49 Chevy five window. If you look back there, you can kind of see it right there. Been driving that thing on almost the daily driver for, uh, you know, after we got it running. It took a little bit to get that thing running. And we, we took, uh, I don't know, two months maybe to get it going roadworthy and put bias fly tires on it. Everybody said, oh, don't do that. They ain't going to last. It's been, uh, you know, September. Will be a year since I put those bias fly tires on there. I've been driving that thing, enjoying it every day. It's a gas hog, I know that. Anyway, what do we got going on here? I've got a 1951, uh, yeah, 1951 Chevrolet. We got a pretty good deal on this. Um, why did we get this if we've already got a truck? Well, that that 49 we've got is all original. It was a one owner truck until we got it. And, uh, you know, I originally wanted to do a lot of stuff to it and everybody was like, no, you know, keep it all original. And, you know, I've come to, uh, come to the conclusion, yeah, let's keep it all original. And there's a lot more respect, you know, when you have a survivor vehicle. So we bought this so we can do some things to it. So what are we doing with this truck? Long story short, uh, I used to be a two wheel drive truck puller. We had two different trucks, um, not at the same time, but I had a 55 Ford uh, F100. With a originally it was a 473 big block, which is the 460 just bored out. Um, then the next engine was a 514 alcohol injected. Then a 532 alcohol injected. It was a lot of fun. We uh, we ended up man, my arm is getting wore out. The camera is heavy. Um, we had a lot of fun with that until we started putting a bunch of money into it. And okay, so then we we ended up selling it, and we built a brand new truck. We built a 1923 Model T C cab. Um, and it was 532 alcohol injected and it had, I think it dynoed real close to 900 horsepower which was nowhere near enough power to compete in the class it was in. And it was a money pit. And when I said it was the, the old truck back in the beginning when it was cheap, it was a lot of fun. When you start putting money into things, it takes the fun out of it. So uh, we ended up selling that truck. Not really a Ford man, not really a Chevy man. I mean, I don't know, as long as it's cool, it's cool. Um, that Ford that I had, I actually grew up not liking Fords, and I always said, you know what, I don't like Fords, but I like my Ford. So that that uh, that 55 was really cool. But so that's why we bought this. We got this for the super cheap, and uh, I think we paid $1,100 for it. Now it's not much. I'll show you here in a second. Um, we actually went, we found it on Craigslist. We went last night to pick it up. All right, so the first thing you might notice, cab, bed, they don't match. If you look down here, one thing that I've noticed that is not the same is what's on our, uh, our 49, because our 49 has running boards that go all the way to the back. Well, this actually has a short running board, and at first I thought, okay, somebody cut it off, but it has a factory edge on it. Um, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, well, that means that this might've had a uh, factory service truck box or, or a flatbed, something like that. 
so I guess maybe if you would would know let me know in the comments below but I'm gonna lean towards that it's probably a one ton maybe I'm wrong but so the bed the bed is just setting here that's why we have these straps on here um, we actually had to stop a few times on the way home but you know this this bed's not held on at all but it's gonna serve as a good platform um, for for the two-wheel drive pulling truck so what what makes this different than the other trucks that we had um, this is actually a small truck class so it's gonna be called uh, I think maybe they're calling it like a pro stock uh, two-wheel drive So it has to have a small block for one. And that's kind of why I wanted to go Chevy because Chevy's a lot cheaper to build. Um, everybody's got 350 Chevy engines and the parts for them are super cheap uh, versus a Ford. So Fords kind of get a little more expensive. Has to have a one ton rear end. Um, it, it probably does have this one ton rear end, but it's old so we're gonna upgrade that. Has to have a, a four speed farm style transmission and um, let's see, there was a few other things. Oh, it can't be alcohol injected. It has to have 31 inch tires, which you can run a, um, an ag style or a bar or a cut style, Chevron cut style tire. So it'll be fun, man. I'm really excited um, about this truck, but it needs a lot of work. Um, I really kind of wish the whole thing was super patinaed like that instead of being uh, painted up maroon like somebody had painted it. You can see that it is it does have the original split rims on it. And it's also pretty bare bones inside. I mean, there's no gauges. Um, one thing that I do like, it does have a rear view mirror. We will be salvaging that to put on the 49. But you know, there's a lot of parts here that maybe somebody uh, can use. Um, unfortunately, it does have cracked glass because I thought well I got a cracked glass maybe we could do some swapping the floorboards are not rusted out and uh, you know actually this has less rust than the floorboards as my than my original 49 does This thing is heavy. There's no springs on this one. So no, no engine, no transmission. I mean, which is a great platform for what we're going to be using it for. Okay, so I don't want to hear why are you going to tear that thing up. I mean, it's. It's a diamond in the rough. It's a great platform for what we want to do with it. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to be cheap because I don't want to invest a lot of time and uh, money into this. There will probably be a lot of time, but we won't have a whole lot of money wrapped up into this and we do like to have a little bit of fun. So unfortunately, we'll probably be seeing that Minneapolis go down the road. We didn't even get to get it going or get it on the track. That's okay. On to the next project. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. I know this wasn't a very long video. Just wanted to give you an update on what's next. I don't know if we're going to have consecutive videos one after the other on this truck right away because um, we've got a lot of other things going. I've got a ton of ton of videos in the queue for our uh, our shop. We built a shop. We built a 36 by 80 shop. So we've got to get all those uploaded. If you guys are still with me in the videos, 
are in this video, let me know that you stayed till the end. Um, other than that, I think that's it for now. See you guys on the next video.